Uh, howdy folks, sometimes this is referred to as a solar generator and it's sunny out today so we can generate some solar. <laughs> this is the All Powers S2000 and it is, it's an interesting one because it has features and price and that's always things that I always look at. So at 1500 watts and all these plugs, we're going to get a look at this thing. Yes, All Powers S2000. Let's check it out. Before I get into the numbers, I want to tell you two things that came with this one I haven't seen before. And the first one is kind of basic. It's a cover. And it comes with this uh, sort of weather tight bag. Uh, let's see if I can get that so I can show it to you without putting it on or whatever. But uh, you can bag it up or just put the lid on sort of thing. Help keep some rain or weather off of it. That would be kind of nice. That's something I haven't seen before. But So that was one little item that was like, wow, what a good idea, you know, for these. Because let's face it, RV, camping, anything outdoorsy, you get caught in the weather. So that's a really nice little feature. The other feature, and I haven't quite got a clear idea on how this is going to work, but we'll turn it around for a second. But back here where your plug is for charging off household, it's 110 and or 220. So that means technically you could take this to a foreign country if you're traveling or something with you and you'd be able to charge it up in a foreign country and then if you have regular outlets that you need a 110 outlets for like American style you know stuff you've got it right here. So that kind of is an interesting little feature in itself like I said before we get into all the hard numbers. Two really nice handles on it too. Uh, in fact these are probably some of the best carrying handles I've seen. They're very comfortable, well built into the machine so you can you know pick it up and move it around because let's face it these are kind of heavy. They're not a lightweight machine but it is solar power so when I come back I'm gonna run this thing down because right now I think she's uh, I'll just hit the button here power it up but yeah <laughs> close enough almost a hundred percent if not uh, yeah, 99%. So I'm going to run this down and then we're going to take it outside and All Power sent us some different, uh, well, we have several different uh, solar power panels, portables from All Powers and I'm going to plug the All Power portable in. So we're going to take this outside and we're going to, once we get it discharged, we will plug it into some solar panels from All Powers. I think we have a kit here that's amazing. Uh, it's, uh, I believe it's 400 watt. So yeah. So we're gonna bring some power in on a sunny day and just see how we do with charging this up and how quick. While I'm char discharging this thing, I uh, thought we'd just throw some quick numbers at you. It's a portable generator or solar, solar generator. It charges up higher wattage on solar than it does on the house current, which is really, 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 really fine with me because the reason, uh, maybe cut that real, 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 real thing out, yeah. The reason I really like it is because uh, I, always charge all my power stations on solar. I never use the grid. I don't really want to use the grid unless you know, unless I have to. So uh, to save every possible penny on the grid, I charge these things only off my solar panels. And I have a number of uh, portables, but all power sent us over a while back, a 400 watt set of portable solar panels that we're gonna hook into this thing to charge it back up. This is a nice uh, stripped down model. It doesn't have the fancy camping light in it. It doesn't have uh, all the extra barrel plugs and you know phone charging and all that garbage. It's got the USB-A, the USB-Cs. It does have, you know, it, yes, it does have the cigarette lighter plug thing for whatever. I have yet to ever use those things, but uh, and it has the 110s. The 110s are the only thing I'm really after in a uh, solar generator like this. Also, it has a really nice readout. All Powers has always had a really nice clean screen. Kind of shows you the input, shows you the output, shows you what's going on, and maybe how many hours or days or whatever it can last on the situation. Uh, right now, I've got one, two, three, just some lights plugged into it right now, so I'm just draining it easy, slowly draining it down. Uh, the AC, when you first kick it on, it's kind of noisy, but then once it figures out how much power is going out, it, it settles and, you know, it's actually really quiet right now. There wasn't even a fan running, so it's, apparently it's not even getting hot. So it's a nice stripped down model with the features of a solar generator without being, you know, you're not buying anything extra that you don't need. So already it's starting to look like a pretty interesting machine. Of course, there'll be links in the description below where you can find this, and I highly invite you to go check that out. I'll see if I can find the link too for the uh, all powers 400 watt uh, panels. 
because that is a really nice setup. I've used it over and over again since it's been here because having 400 watts means you can charge something like this up pretty quickly, you know. So uh, we'll get this discharged and when I come back, we'll be outside on the charge uh, side of it and see how that's going. Yeah. Well, that uh, all power uh, station, by the way, is 2,000 watts uh, output and with a 4,000 watt surge. So it's kind of a number you, you kind of want to know that. There's my all power portable panel setup. That's 400 watts set. We'll put the uh, all powers up here on the table and we'll plug in and we'll start charging. But right now, believe it or not, I am still discharging. The uh, 1500 watt is the is 1500 watt hour capacity. Yeah, for that station. So just so we're clear on that, it's a 2000 watt built in inverter in that thing. Of course, lithium iron phosphate batteries. It's it's a really nice kit because it doesn't have a lot of crazy accessories with it. So you're not, you know, what you're buying and what you're paying for is the stuff you're going to want to use. Came with a really nice long cable. Uh, we're plugged in to the 400 watt panel set and we're bringing about, well, it's like 232 watts in right now. I was able to run this down using a, a heater because of the, uh, you know, the 2000 watts. You can plug some pretty heavy stuff in. Uh, I ran the electric heater at 900 watts in order to pull it down to 85%, which took, uh, I don't, didn't time it, but it took quite a bit of time. <laughs> but we got her down to 85, so we plugged her into solar, so now we're pump pumping it back up. Now, the solar side of this thing will charge faster than the house current, I believe, is what somebody's told me. I don't know, you know, I can't say that for sure, but I put it in a box out here in the sun so we can see it easily while all this is going on too because uh, out in the sun here with the camera on this thing you guys wouldn't you know you just blow everything away I wouldn't be able to see anything so this way you can actually keep an eye on it I might even turn the panels a little bit and see if we can't get a little more output than that but uh, this is just typical you know middle of winter uh, February southern Texas of course so it is about 65 degrees out here with the birds uh, man those birds are loud today they must be hungry there you go, 86%. So we're charging up already. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll cut, and when we come back in, we should be fully charged, and we'll time it. Right now, it's 10 to 2, so we'll see how long this takes. While we're waiting here, it's been about a little over 7 minutes, and we're already back up to 88%. But uh, the solar power-wise, it's 18 to 70 volts, up to 500 watts, and up to 18 amps coming in. So the solar power can come in pretty hard and heavy, which, again, is, a, is important because... That means you'll be able to, you know, 89%. It'll recharge really quickly. So that's a good thing. Also over 2,500 plus uh, life cycles to it. Well, just about full, 97%. So it's coming up a little bit more. This is an XT60 plug, by the way, just so everybody knows where we're at. Also the 12-volt uh, cigarette lighter plug charges in the same thing. It's an XT60 plug. I don't recommend using those unless you really know your car and you know your... Uh, your cigarette lighter plug can handle that kind of thing because I find a lot of these are, well, they pull a little too hard and they, they can heat them up pretty bad. So I, I just do not use that. Uh, oh, 98%. Uh, also the 110, uh, I, don't, I don't use it because I don't want to plug into 110 in the house when I have, you know, I have solar. I have lots of solar panels here, so there's no reason to go run in the house. Now, they said from zero to 100, this will charge up in about 1.6 hours but that's at full charging capacity. Right now we're at 250 watts, so we're nowhere near the 500. But in, let's see, I'm just checking my watch here. Yeah, we're not even at a half an hour yet. So uh, we've been 15% at this level. And just imagine if this was, uh, you know, 500 watts of power coming in or something from solar, it would really be charging twice as fast. Therefore, it would be almost charging, you know, 1% uh, per minute or something. So. Yeah, they're 1.6% is, is, is uh, or 1.6 hours, excuse me, 1.6 hours is uh, pretty accurate uh, for what it can do, but that would be maxed out at everything. And I don't mind slagging this off a little bit because it's, there's less heat on the unit when you're recharging or whatever. The other thing I had to do, which I forgot to do, was I had the, uh, I had the AC on. I shut the AC off to help go ahead and just put all the charge into the machine to bring it back up to 100%. And... The DC thing is uh, just on a, there we go, just on a touch button. So you just touch it, it comes on, touch it, goes off. The AC is different. You have to hold the button for a second and then it will, let's see, kick on. There we go. And it's it's on and then, of course, you hold the button and it will shut off. 
So it's a little bit of a delay on the button there. And then the power button, of course, is pretty straightforward. If you hold it long enough, she will shut down. But right now I'm charging and I'm at 98%. So we'll be at 100% here in a couple of minutes. We'll be done. And then we can go back to the bench and finish out uh, discussing all powers. And this particular, the S2000. This one here is a really nice sort of bare bones model because it just gives you the features that you really want and not all the uh, crazy accessories you don't really want to pay for anyways in the first place. So. Oh, and before I forget, uh, it has Bluetooth on it, so it can uh, you can get a downloaded app from All Powers, which will allow you to monitor the system on your cell phone. So you can see how it's you know charging, discharging, and check the battery level and stuff right from the phone. Okay, we're back. Uh, the XT60 plug, I wanted to actually show it to you because this is probably one of the best I've seen in the industry as far as length goes. Look at this thing. I mean, it is, that is almost well, about five and a half, almost six feet long. So that's quite a bit of charge cord, which means you can get a little bit away from your panels because the panels themselves, a lot of the portable panels and stuff, they come with these little short, you know, pieces of cable you can barely get to. So that's kind of, you know, it's kind of nice to have all that extra cable, at least from all power. So it looks like they, uh, they're thinking about what you, you know, what you and I need, you know, this, this thing here, same thing. It doesn't have that flashy lighty thing on it. So, you know, there's no waste of, uh, time on that one. Uh, also, uh, this is a personal thing with me, I guess. I have a iPhone and a lot of times they'll put a charge up here someplace for the iPhone and it doesn't work. It, none of them work for mine because it has that uh, Defender, you know, case on it and it seems like it, if you take the case off it'll work otherwise it won't charge. So again, no money wasted on you know, putting something like that up on up on top. It's about 30 pounds, so it's not as heavy as some of the ones that have been in here. So it's, it's actually a fairly decent uh, amount of weight for a power station, you know. <laughs> the on button, off button, you have to hold it for a while till it kicks on. Same with the AC. Now the DC kicks on immediately as soon as you touch it. Now we've got the, of course, the AC, the USB-A, the USB-C, so you can charge your phone off of that. And if you can't, then, you know, yeah, what are you doing? <laughs> and of course the cigarette lighter plug, which this one here is probably fine. Uh, when I talk about cigarette lighter plugs, what I'm talking about is the one that's on the XT60 for input. You can plug into your car, but like I said, I'd be very careful with that because they can get really hot. And a car only produces about, well, around 14 volts average on electrical systems. And a lot of times that puts a lot of current on there. So I don't trust that sort of thing on, on something like this. So I don't recommend using it. I just, you know, no, don't do that. Uh, as far as the AC goes to the house, again, same thing. I, I don't do it, but uh, yes, you can, you know, obviously, and the 220 volt. So altogether, this is a nice package and it's well thought out because it gives you just what you want for camping, RVing, or a power station for solar generator, whatever. It gives you just that. You don't have any, you know, no frills kind of thing. So hopefully the price will reflect that a little bit from all powers. In the meantime, I'm going to get out of here and call this one, uh, well, we're done with this, but I think we have a draw for Thursday as well. So we'll go over to drawing for some free tools. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. When we come back, thank you. In the meantime, for all powers, link will be in the description below for this. And I'll put a link in for those, um, that 400 watt panel set. That's kind of a nice, uh, I like that kit. It's, it's strong. <laughs> it does the trick. You know? Okay. It's time to do the draw Yeah, this week for the Vibor. Yes. And it's the trimmer, wood trimmer router. And, uh, it's a nice machine. Real nice. I like it, and it includes 12 router bits for the trimmer and some other uh, metal and guide accessories that you can bolt on there to set it up. I'll try to bubble wrap all this for you real good so that uh, it ships out to you. So in the meantime, let's find out who's the winner of the Vibor trim router. What a great item. By the way, uh, this was this week was the most entries in the last two weeks that I've ever seen. So yeah, we have a good pile of entries this time, which I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, apparently a lot of people like the idea of a trim router, so we'll shake up the names and we got everybody's ticket in there. <laughs> a viewer, a subscriber, I hope you're a subscriber. <laughs> Hopefully we will draw a name and see who's getting this today. Okay, we got, there's one here. What do we got here? Doug in Kenwick, Washington. Oh geez. Okay, Doug. 
guess what? <laughs> you got a trimmer. <laughs> There's a guy, Greg, that lives over there in Oregon. He wants to borrow it, but uh, yeah, we'll get to that. <laughs> hey, congratulations, Doug. And next week, another new tool goes up for draw. So catch us on Monday and we'll see where we're at. Yeah. Thanks for watching Coffee and Tools. Please like, share, subscribe, ring the notice bell so you don't miss out on cool tools that are being given away for free. Yes, I'm shipping this to you, Doug. Yes, that means you. I'm out of here. Over and out. <laughs>